reason why I'm wearing this really weird thing is because I'm, get, I'm about to dye my hair and I decided that um, why not make a video on how to dye your hair by yourself in case there are a couple of people that are like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what I should do, blah blah blah. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this is actually a smock that came in this pack. Um, it might have came in the same pack that my hair dye was in, I can't remember because that was a real long time ago. But I'm using this kind and I'm using blue black like what I did last time. And I got a package that has one of these little squirting bottles which is makes things a whole lot easier. First thing of course you put your developer in since I'm going back to black. Well, I am on black. But since my color is coming back, I'm re dyeing my hair to black. So since I'm going to a darker shade than my natural hair color, I do two ounces of this and two ounces of my hair dye. So since I got the developer in there, you just put in the hair dye. The reason why I'm showing this is because um, I'm showing you how that you can do it and get all the spots that you need to, like every part of your head. Another reason is because it's absolutely hilarious how I do it on my own, and you'll see why in a minute. So just basically go by any instructions that how you want to do your hair, because um, of course not everybody is going to do their do their hair um, darker than their natural shade like what I'm doing. So yeah, go by your instructions for how much stuff to put in and for how long do your stuff however long that may be. Well, another little advice that I would recommend is when you dye your hair, if you buy a smock, don't wear a shirt under it because it just makes things a whole lot better. <laughs> Unless you're at a friend's house, then maybe you should wear a shirt. Or maybe not, it all depends on how your friendship is. But anyhow. So that is all in there and I literally squeeze this guy clean as much as I can get with it. And also I bought reusable gloves from Sally's because these guys are really good. You can just wipe them off after and they're actually my size. I didn't pay attention to the size of the gloves when I got them, but when I put them on I'm like, wait a second, these actually fit. They're not like the gloves that come in packages because I buy my stuff separate because when you buy this stuff at Sally's, this is just the hair color. It doesn't have the developer or anything, and this is only like five bucks. And if you get a huge thing of developer, like what I have, it's about yay big. I'll show you. This guy lasts a long time, and this was probably only about 10 or so bucks, and this was just like five, compared to this guy you don't have to buy every time, obviously. But this guy, only five bucks every time you have to dye your hair, compared to the stores where you have to buy like a box set, like the hair dye and the developer and stuff for like 20, 30 bucks. No. These are the gloves that I'm using, by the way. I'm using black since I usually will only dye my hair black, so. shake this guy up, make sure to have your hand on the hole, because otherwise you're going to get shit everywhere. Okay, and usually you do this before you start putting on gloves, but you take your hair in as many sections as you possibly can, so that, you know, you get a good surface area and you can get absolutely every single part. Make sure to get tiny sections, the front, etc. I can show you what that looks like when I'm done with it. to hold them in place is try not to twist it up too much and like knots because then it'll be it'll hurt to get out. So I use these little tiny clips. I just bought um, 24 I think for like three bucks. Yeah. And you have to make
happens, you have to really make sure when you're shaking up the develop when you're mixing up the developer and the color, it actually mixes all the way. That is a huge, huge thing. You can probably really mess things up for you if you don't have it completely mixed up. Just putting your hair in really tiny strands like this is going to take a really long time, but it's well worth it. I would rather take a long time and have everything be done and perfect and, and no spots missed than have a whole bunch of crazy patches that I needed to get to. So this is why I say to put a towel down. I use a black towel since I always dye my hair black, of course, because oh shit, because um, you're gonna really make a mess when you do this, and it's a lot faster if you just throw everything that you're done with on the towel and then pick it up instead of having to make sure that there's no dye on your stuff. And just if you don't have a towel that matches your hair color that you're doing at the moment, then. Obviously, you can just use a towel that you guys don't care about anymore, and that'll work. Alright, so this is how my head looks when I part it all to I mean, out of those 24, I have about 20 clips in my hair. If it is 24, it might just be like a 16-pack. But anywho, out of all that, all except for three clips are in my hair right now. And you can see why. So I just leave little strands to start off with, and of course when you dye your hair, you just start at the roots and then deeply blend, because I want to get every part, deeply blend and then deeply saturate your whole hair in this. And I would show this, but my battery is kind of dying. Maybe I can have this work out. I'm not exactly sure what I do, but maybe you can see this where I start at all the roots. Maybe I'll go over here more so you can see it. Start at all the roots and I just blend in the roots first and then when I go to actually dye, I'll make sure that you have a stopwatch ready. And if the stopwatch is on your phone, make sure that you move your gloves before you actually do it. But if you have thick or really long hair, try not to use all of your dye so quick. Because you never know, and you can always go in and resaturate it. If you feel like it's not enough. to get some on your skin. I'm doing this to make sure that I get the sides that is close to my face. Okay, since the roots and face are done, I squirt some of my hands, I put it down on the towel, and I try to rub it over. Oh shit, I never took the comb out. I'll take it out in a second. Deeply, deeply rubbing. I'm trying not to get parts that you will get in a second. And I try to saturate as much as possible just to make sure that I get absolutely everything. Can't even see what I'm doing. Oh. Um. Um. I try to also get the ends as well because for some reason the end of my hair does not like to get dyed. So it's really picky on that. Usually I use it plain, but since I am doing a video like this, okay. Since that seems well saturated, if I ever question it, I comb it out. Got whatever access is on the comb, or maybe put some more on the and run that through again. using clips is that you can throw them in the sink right after and of course comb your hair out after you take the clips out so that then you can get all the knots out and you can just um, saturate every part of your hair. So now what I do after I get all those parts is I completely comb my hair.
can use the remaining of this stuff to get any kind of sections that I think I might need. I'll be very careful when you shake it like this. I only shake it like that over the towel. And a good thing to do is comb it all through. Try to bring it up high, twist it around. And take a lot of this and saturate it. Make sure that you get it all. And make sure to try to check all areas like down here, which as you can tell with all this blue, I tried really hard to make sure that I got that all. If you need a clip of your hair like what I'm doing now, go ahead and do the same for the other side. so scared where um, I use as much as the hair dryer as I possibly can and take a slow time. But for some reason I'm feeling off tonight, so that's why I'm doing it slower. And just, you know, use the rest of the stuff up. I like to focus on this line that I, on my part, so that whenever the roots end up coming in. Hopefully it doesn't show up as good as much. And then you go, um, then you have to wait for everything to set for as long as your directions stay. My directions stay to wait until 20 to 25 minutes. So I'll be waiting 25 minutes just to make sure. So yeah, see you then. Or while everything to set and be fine. What I recommend doing is I recommend to um, start cleaning up. Now I start this is normally I take off the gloves first, make being very sure that I don't actually get anything on me. But if I do, it will just wash off anyway, so it's okay. And I put that right on the towel as always because you don't because you don't want to get anything on top of your counter and stuff especially if you're like me and you just rent an apartment or if you rent in general and I have to really make sure that I'm quiet because it's 2 50 in the morning this little guy to get through 
for your small tube to make sure that that gets all clean and out of there. While all of the really hard to reach areas, I give it a Q-tip. And then of course after that, because cleaning isn't going to take that long, you can just watch TV or chill on the computer like what I'm about to do, or whatever you want. And I'll show you my little setup in a minute when I'm done with this. So, so yeah, when your hair dye is done and the timer and the timer goes off, it's only been like four minutes. So I set up ways. And when the timer goes off, just hop in. Well, the easiest way to do it is hop in the shower so that then you can just rinse out your hair like normal. Again, go until the water runs clear and then all this extra stuff that you got on your face because I'm pretty messy, um, that will just come off in the shower. And if you're having a little difficulty with it, get a rag or a washed cloth that you don't care too much about and just rub it off with warm water and it should come off pretty fun. And if you don't believe me, then I'll show after this video how it comes off. You can even do it while you're waiting. So, I hope that that little tutorial, tips, video, whatever you want to call it, helps someone out. If you're like me and you freak out the first time that you have to dye your hair by yourself. As you can tell, after I get out of the shower, my face gets really red. Oops. But, oh well. Worth it. Yeah.